So ladies and gentlemen, today I am standing in Girdwood, Alaska, and I am speaking with Sasha Swift from Alpine Air Alaska. And if you are viewing this video, then you see a, once again, I, Sasha, we have the most amazing footage of Alaska. And here you have not only glaciers and mountains behind you, but you have this incredible helicopter. <laughs> Can you tell my audience what your passion is? My passion is seeing people fulfill their lifelong dreams. That's the most, the easiest way I can explain it is, it doesn't matter what it is that they're doing, but I love watching people check that bucket list item off. It's pretty awesome to, to be a part of. And how did you start doing that? Like, how did this start for you? You know, it just kind of all collided. People come to Alaska for all sorts of reasons. I came with a boyfriend and I just fell into this job and it's, fan it's fantastic. It was the only job I applied to. She called me immediately and I came over and I just fell in love with it. I, I love what we do. I love the people I work with. I love the customers that we work with and um, the excitement that people come down with after they get out of the helicopter is just, it's a thrill that you, you know, it's like a drug that you live off of. I'm kind of too scared to get in. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm scared to go up there. We spend a lot of time with our, our pilots all have over a thousand hours. They've been flying in mountains. They've been doing this for a long time and they make it, they put everybody at ease. It's pretty, it's pretty easy for them to make you feel comfortable. So um, my question to you is, do you think just based on what you were telling me now, it sounds like you're saying, you know, you, you have different roles in your life, but really your purpose is this feeling that you get. That that's exactly able... what I would say, that right. that's what I enjoy. And that's where I, that's what drives me. That's what motivates me to continue. You know, when you have a hard day, a long day or, you know, anything like that, it makes me continue and keep on going because I know, you know, that I, I get this thrill every day. What's your favorite story? Like, do you have, do you have people oh, you goodness. remember because of, you know? Yeah. I mean, we had some people just, just a couple of weeks ago. I told them they were from Spain. They were coming. I picked them up in the shuttle and they were so excited to go flight seeing. And they were talking all about, what's it gonna be like? What's it gonna be like? I'm like, I can't describe it, but you picked a perfect day. It's gonna be fantastic. When they came down, they were just, you could see the emotion in them. They had done something they had never thought they were gonna do. They were so excited to have done it. And then they spent 20 minutes writing me out all the things that if I come to Spain, where I need to go and what I need to do and who I need to talk to, because they, they wanted so to give the same feeling back to me. Yes, they were so grateful. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you have any hesitations or challenges in this role, do you think? Um, you know, it's it's always a challenge with logistics and people and, you know, personalities and everything, but it's that's the best part. You know, if you didn't have some sort of challenge, if you didn't realize that that all the pieces have to fit together to make it the whole, then it wouldn't be as much fun. What do you think you have learned about yourself discovering that helping people check things off of their their personal list is important to you? Um, I think I've learned how how to really um, follow my purpose. You know that when when I started here and when I first came here, I don't think I realized how important it was to have human interaction, to have that every day and be a part of other people's lives and making their day, making their trip, making their you know, their anniversary or weddings. We have people go up and get married or get proposed to all these things. And um, I, I feel like I've learned that that's something I need to continue to follow no matter where it is in my life. What else could you see yourself doing in the future knowing that you love that so much? Gosh, you know, it's hard to even imagine. I, I, I've really fallen into my perfect job, my perfect life. Like I, I can't, I can't picture what else would do it. I'm sure there's something out there. I'm not, I'm not, saying that there isn't, but um, you know, just something around people and, and helping and helping make them that joy and that happiness. It's, it's really awesome. You know, I always try to get people to act to create a life that's more meaningful or exciting, right? So my thing is they need to envision it for themselves first, explore what it would take, execute a plan. What kind of advice would you give? I would say that, you know, you pick your your priorities and you know, you're never going to find, or it's a lot, it's hard to find everything that you think you want at once. But if you pick the things that are most important to you, you can really, all of it can come together. It's just hard to envision unless you know really where you need to be headed. Um, so I would say just pick those, 
those one or two or three things that are so important to you that you know will make you happy. How can people find you? Well, they can find me. Um, on, we're on Facebook, Alpine Air Alaska. I'm on Facebook as well. And we have Instagram, Alpine Air Alaska as well. And are you alpineairalaska.com? Yes, we are. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. I, I'm jealous that this is, <laughs> this is your view every day. Although I'm, I'm also envisioning you out here in parkas and gloves. And yes, those have, we have these grippers that go on our shoes that we have to walk on the ice when we're walking people to and from that, so that we don't slip and slide. And you guys don't do just um, tour, flight scene, right? Tours, you also do other things. Do you do the dog sleds? Yep, so we take people all summer long up to Punch Bowl Glacier and drop them off on the glacier where there's, we have a whole camp set up, 60 dogs, puppies, and mushers up there, you go right on the dog sled yourselves. And we are so jealous about that. That's something we would have loved to have done while we were here. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Just add it to your list. It's just, it's awesome. Okay, thank you so much for thank talking you. with us today. Appreciate it. And I talk to you. 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 And we love, we love, and we hate, we hate, and we chat and run straight. We try to relate. This is for breakthrough. Whoa, said now this my breakthrough. Whoa, oh man, this my breakthrough.